Hey there, it's Mindy, and in this video, I'm showing you how I made this easy wood bookshelf that's perfect for a kid's room. For this project, I am using plywood for the size of the bookshelf, so I've already cut one piece down to 11 inches wide and I'm gonna rip down the second one so I'm cutting along the length of this board making a rip cut on my table saw to make it 11 inches because it's a little bit wider I'm also cutting down this thinner plywood to 10 and a quarter inches to use as the shelves. I'm also cutting down this uh, one by eight board into three quarter inch strips that I'll use to uh, secure to the front of each shelf. Here are all my cut pieces. These are the sides and those will be to attach the sides. These are the shelf pieces and those are going to be uh, the front border of each shelf. I decided to cut a notch out of the side panels of the bookshelf um, because of the baseboard. So this way the baseboard will go into this groove and the back of the bookshelf will fit flush against the wall. I'm also adding this uh, edge banding, it's called, to the front of the plywood so that it's a nice clean look. I am gonna paint uh, the inside, but I just wanted the front to have a finished look as well. This was my first time doing edge banding. As you can see, it's not perfect here, but it's really easy to apply just using an iron. And when I was done, I just used a sanding block to get those extra edges off. For these pieces that will attach to the sides of my bookshelf, I made pocket holes, and that's using this, what's called a pocket hole jig. It attaches like this with a clamp and uses this drill bit to create these holes. And these are pocket hole screws that will attach to the sides. These are one and a quarter inch pocket screws because that's what's recommended for three quarter inch thick wood. And I'm using the pocket screw drill bit. And here is how the attachment looks where I made that notch at the bottom of the bookcase. Here is the full assembly without the shelves. And you can see I added shelf pins, which I did by creating a template from a scrap piece of plywood to line up those holes evenly for each shelf. For each shelf, I just took that narrow uh, solid wood piece and glued it to the front of each of the plywood pieces so that it's flush with the bottom of the shelf and it creates a small ledge in the front so it can hold the books in place. 
I used this paint sample that I had on hand. This is like an off-white color and I just painted the side panels of the bookshelf as well as the top part of each shelf. This bookshelf is just over four feet tall, so perfect for a kid's room. And because it's narrow and shallow, it doesn't take up much space at all. I will have all the measurements down in the description box and I do plan on creating build plans for this so I will update the description when I have those ready. Go ahead and leave any questions in the comments. Let me know what you think of this bookshelf and as always, thanks for watching!